for tuning in to Miss Self Care 101 YouTube channel. And while you're visiting, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification button and click all so that you will be notified each and every time a video is uploaded to this page, Self Care 101 with Nikita Jackson. Also, while you're here, go ahead and thumbs up the video, like it, and please comment and share. This allows the community to grow and to give me the opportunity to provide relevant information to this community. Greetings and great day to you. My name is Nikita Jackson, also known as Miss Self Care 101, and here is my daily share in regards to self care. Today's topic is Mentors Matters. And before we get into this topic, I want to share with you guys my amazing shirt that I have today. It reads Normalized Therapy. Therapy is the new cool. And so if you like this shirt, you can head over to babychicagocollection.com where we have amazing, amazing products. We have different styles to fit your lifestyle. We have a ton of items. So I encourage you to head over scroll through the site and if you like anything or anything stands out i highly highly encourage you to shop now you won't be dissatisfied you will be extremely satisfied all right so let's head back to the topic so today's topic mentors matters and so i wanted to talk about this topic because it is one that i think about often it's one i hear a lot of people having conversations about and so recently I heard someone say, what is the difference between a therapist and a mentor? Aren't they the same thing? So I want to share with you guys that unfortunately it's not. And I want to kind of explain that a little bit more in detail. And so as you guys know, I am a licensed social worker in the state of Ohio. I have been a social worker for over a decade. Please don't try to figure out my age. No, I'm just joking. I'm not that old, but I have been a social worker for over a decade. And so in being a social worker, I have had the opportunity to be in different capacities of social work. I have been in the field, like I said, for over 10 years. And in, in that journey or on that journey, I was also a therapist for many years that I really, really, really enjoy. And I have another privilege that I am now a 10 year track professor teaching social work. So I love, love, love social work. I love therapy. I love providing therapeutic services to clients. But I want to share that when you have a therapist or when you are, um, when you have a licensed clinical professional that, that is in front of you and that's providing you therapeutic services, it is much different than a mentor. And so um, I know sometimes people you know, have a little bit of confusion with the two because sometimes we have people that are mentors that are licensed professionals, but when they're mentoring you and when they serve in as a mentor, they are doing that job and that's being a mentor. So the difference is, you know, between a therapist and a mentor, a therapist is that individual that's going to dig a little bit deep, that's going to get to the root of your problem. So it's somebody that's helping you to heal uh, from your past, anything that you have encountered that has moved you from a place of, um, you know, you know, where you were once stable and now you're at a place where you have some disruptions, um, in your moods or your life situation, that therapist is going to help you get to the root of the problem and to try to restore you back to a place of quote unquote normalcy or place or uh, the place that you were at prior to the event or the traumatic event occurring. So that's what a therapist do. A therapist is more so uh, a therapeutic uh, alliance, a person that's going to deal with you on a therapeutic uh, encounter. A mentor, on the other hand, a mentor is a person that's uh, serving almost as like a guidance, uh, a person that's going to guide you and walk alongside you uh, of you to complete the goals that you set out for yourself. That mentor is like almost like your personal cheerleader, that person that's going to be standing beside you to accomplish those goals and to help you, um, you know, to self-correct and to help you along that journey. And so that's how I uh, differentiate or try to paint the picture of what a therapist does as opposed to what a mentor does for you. And so I do think it's super important to have a mentor because a mentor um, helps you to get from that place called stuck. And so uh, I have been there uh, many times. And so I have been privileged to have amazing mentors that help me during that process and keep me moving upward uh, and, 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 and help me to not lose sight of my goals and my dreams and the things that I set out for myself. Because we do live in a situation, we live in a world that we have a lot of influences, a lot of things influence 
influences our dreams. A lot of things influences, um, you know, where we're at, even in the, with the conditions of the world as it is today. Many people are losing sight of like, you know, going after goals and dreams and things because they're like, I don't know where to begin. I don't think it's important anymore. I feel stuck. And so sometimes having that mentor is just important to have that listening ear and that person that can really coach you um, in the direction of up, right? So um, that's the difference. And so I want to talk to you about uh, before you get a mentor, these are the things that you want to make sure that you really have a clear picture before you even seek out a mentor or if you think that you need a mentor. I think it's important to understand why you need a mentor. You need to understand why you need a mentor. You know, it's, it's not enough for you to just sit down with somebody and you say, hey, you know, I want you to be my mentor. And then they say, well, what you need help with? And you're like, I don't know. So you really want to know why. Um, and so I'll just kind of take you along the process of like my recent encounter. So I actually recently um, sought out a mentor. So I have a total of four mentors. And so I know somebody may say, oh, that's a lot. So I am a person that um, likes to compartmentalize things. OK, so when it comes to mentors, I do that in that avenue as well. Just like, you know, for instance, um, I have an OBGYN, I have a dentist, I have an eye care provider, I had a therapist at one point in time. And so um, I'm not going to go to my doctor, you know, exposing my whole life and hoping that the doctor can help me heal, right? So I have a therapist for that. I'm not going to go to my OBGYN and talk to her about my dental needs, right? I have a dentist for that. And so I like to go to the people or I like to address issues with people that's going to be able to help me and understand um, the things that I need. So I recently obtained a new mentor, which made a total of four mentors that I have. And so I have different mentors that serve in different capacities. And so as I stated to you guys before, I am now in a new position as a, uh, a tenured track professor. And so that looks like a whole different path that I've been on as a practice social worker, being in the field. And so uh, this person is kind of helping me, you know, to understand what this looked like from this standpoint and helping me to grow things, you know, exposing me to different, um, you know, different events, you know, different workshops, different, all these type of things that's going to help me in my professional development at this level. And so that's why I have this new mentor. And so, um, I had to understand even when I was seeking or vetting um, the mentor that I needed um, to serve in this capacity. Um, I always say you want to know why you're seeking out because when you reach out to that person and you ask them to be a mentor for you, you want to make sure that you know exactly what you need help with. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing when you reach out to a person and they say, what do you need help with? And you say, I don't know. Uh, because that person, you got to think about it, a lot of mentors and a lot of people in those positions, um, you know, the ones that I've encountered, you know, they are busy. They have their own lives. They have their families. They have their work life and all of the above. And so, you know, agreeing to mentor you is a great obligation and you don't want to make someone or you don't want somebody to feel like you're wasting their time. So every time or every minute they spend with you is very precious. And so I try to make sure I'm always uh, I have an agenda when I meet with my mentor and I, I have a, a roadmap and just kind of show her what I need help with so that she can properly support me. So as I stated, you want to know your why you want to, you want to be able to ask your mentor or, or, you know, explain to your mentor what you hope to gain, you know, when you are meeting with your mentor. Um, and then also what the mentor can assist you with. So what areas of concern you have, what do you struggle with? Um, you know, uh, what do you need more support with? What do, what do you need more guidance with? And then also how often you need to meet with your mentor. I like to say it's important to let a mentor know up front. So my new a mentor that I have, um, I explained to her that I'm not a very needy person. I'm not, um, you know, I'm a type of person like we can meet once a month. I would be thankful and, you know, happy and privileged if that person if, or she could meet with me, you know, once a month, which she agreed. And so we, we met, I met my mentor for the first time uh, during the month of December and we're meeting again in, in January. And but uh, when we met, I let her know that, you know, these are the things. And so she gave me kind of like some some things to kind of look into, um, gave me some pointers. Of course, I, I took plenty of notes um, and, and, and took a lot of guidance and support from her. And also, you know, when we ended our call, when we met the very first for our very first time, 
you know, you always want to let that person know you are very thankful um, that they took out the time to meet with you and to help you. Because once I said again, uh, a lot of times when people meet you and they're willing to provide that expertise and that knowledge, they're taking out time out of their busy day and their schedule to help you to get to a place that you're trying to be at. So it's just super important to be thankful and to also take that person, um, you know, try not to, um, you know, waste that person's time. Be very clear on what you need support with. So having a mentor, you know, for me, uh, one, it helps you with professional development. And so uh, I kind of shared a little bit about, you know, why I sought out the last mentor I had. But I've had mentors, you know, um, I, I am a, a co-owner of two businesses with my husband. And then also I have other endeavors and other things that I am embarking upon. And so I have a mentor for that to help me to learn about, you know, money management. You know, it's not enough to make money. You have to learn how to save save money, invest money properly and all of that. So I struggled, you know, tremendously in that area. And so I sought out a mentor for that. Um, I do have other, you know, avenues in place, you know, we've sought out, you know, different financial advisors, those type of things. But my mentor has served greatly as it pertains to, you know, business development and those skills. So I have a mentor for that as well. And so uh, when you talk about professional development, that mentor, Typically, you seek out a mentor that's doing the same thing or has done the same thing or has knowledge of the thing that you want to do or you want to become. And so that person will help you with your professional development. Also, a mentor also help you to clarify and to set your goals. And so I am a very big goal oriented person. Um, you know, for a long time, I live my life uh, off a of vision board. I have multiple vision boards. I actually have a vision board right above my head. Um, it's right here and uh, I created this vision board before I was even married. And so it's actually time to re kind of revamp that vision board because a lot of things came to pass in this vision board. There's still a few things I need to work on. But um, so I'm, I'm a very goal oriented person. I like to write things out. Um, and so I have my goals here. And so I write out uh, smart goals all the time. And so your mentor can also help to, you to understand what is a smart goal. So smart stands for the S in smart is specific, making sure your goals are specific. Um, M in smart is measurable making sure your goals are measurable a is achievable making sure your goals are achievable R is relevant, making sure they're relevant. And then T is timely, making sure that you're giving yourself enough time to complete the goal. And so, um, with my new mentor, we have conversations about what that looked like, what smart goals look like as it pertains to the career development that I want to obtain and just where I'm trying to go. And also what's needed for my new, um, my new position and so uh, my mentor has had many years in academia and so she knows she's a tenured actually she's a full professor at a university and she serves in many capacities and so she's showing me now like what I need to do how to plan out my day you know when it comes to publications all of that and so she's really uh, showing me what that looks like from a big picture and where we're able to write down those smart goals and so that's what a mentor will help you to do uh, help you to you know bring things into perspective you know get things out your mind I always say it's good to write down your goals because it brings those everything out of your mind onto paper and so it actually make you see your goals it's not enough for you just to keep them housed inside of your head um, you need to write them down and you need to put measures on them so that you can make them your reality okay and then another thing a, a mentor serves as a person that's going to hold you accountable you want to be held accountable. Now, I know a lot of times that's a little bit uh, stressful for people. Some people don't want to be held accountable. Uh, and then some people get upset when you hold them accountable. And so uh, I have one mentor in particular. So this was this mentor. She's been my mentor for many years. She's still my mentor. I don't you know, we don't talk a lot as it pertains to, uh, you know, like my goals and things, because I pretty much have completed everything that I sought out to complete when we first, you know, started our, uh, our relationship. And so, uh, a couple of days ago we had a conversation and she reminded me of a goal that I set out that I have yet to complete. And it bothered me. It bothered me all day long. And the reason why it bothered me is because, you know, when you set out something and you say you want to do it, you know, life changes, right? Things changes, you know, you know, the world changes, you know, everything changes. So sometimes when you're thinking one way, you know, when things change, you know, you put that on the back burner, you just push it away. And so she reminded me of a goal that I had set forth. And 
I was a little bit frustrated. And she said to me, she said, oh, no, no pressure. You know, I don't want you to feel like, you know, I'm invading on your privacy or anything of that nature. She said, I don't want you to feel like I'm pushing you to do something that, you know, uh, that I think you should do. I just remember you told me it was a goal. And she said, I'm just like bringing it back up, just holding you accountable. And so that's what a mentor does. A mentor will hold you accountable. So if you're a person and you don't like to be corrected or you don't like to be reminded, you know, having a mentor can be challenging. It can be a little bit stressful because that mentor is going to hold you accountable and not allow you to get comfortable. That mentor is going to push you, is going to, uh, you know, encourage you, but also going to make you not sit down on yourself. And so that mentor is going to be like, what are you doing? What's going on? Why didn't you do that? That mentor is going to be hardcore and you just have to be ready for that. So accountability is definitely something that you're going to gain when you have a mentor. You know, I've had many mentees and they tell me like, you know, Miss Nikita, you're just blah, 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 blah. You're just, you're just too much. But the thing is, is that I wouldn't be a great mentor and I won't be a great motivator if I'm not encouraging you. You know, if you're not going to do anything or if I'm not going to do anything for you or help you to get uh, past that place called stuck, then it's no purpose of me even being in your life. Right. So I make every minute and every point and every time count. And I want to show you that, you know, I'm here for you and I'm here to support you, but I'm also going to push you past your own um, limits. OK, so that's what a mentor does. It holds you accountable. Also, a mentor serves as uh, give you guidance as well as direction, you know, help you to, uh, you know, help you to get on the right path kind of navigate you around the you know around the path that you're trying to go and then when you hit those roadblocks or those obstacles that mentor will help you to um, kind of shake away or kind of give you options or you know help you figure things out um, and sometimes to be honest like I've had some things that I've encountered in the past and my mentors had already encountered it before and was like listen you know, this is this this is what you need to do, you know, and this is what you need. This is what's going to happen. Um, you know, this is, you know, what I was telling you should have done and you didn't do. This is what I was talking about. And so sometimes the mentor will remind you, but they are there to shift you back on the path that you need to be and they're there to guide you and sometimes you know mentors will hold hold your hands they will work hand to hand and hold your hands and walk with you while others will push you and remind you and call you and pressure you and basically get on your nerves until you get back to a place where you need to be so they will serve as a, a guidance a director a person that's going to navigate you and then um lastly a mentor is there to strengthen the skills that you have and so um Sometimes the mentor will even call out the skills that you didn't even know existed. I had a mentor, uh, you know, explain to me one day, she shared with me a lot of things and a lot of strengths that she's seen in me. She used a strength-based perspective and she really talked about uh, the things that I was really great at. And it's weird because some of the things that uh, this particular mentor called out things I didn't even realize that was a strength and that I really did really well and so I really thanked her uh, for really pulling those things out of me and I started to really use that I was able to use that feedback and I was able to use that support um, that she provided and it helped me in my career it helped me in my profession and it just helped me to strengthen myself as a social worker uh which which helped me tremendously uh, as a professional and I, I use it even to this day some of the strength that the strengths that she called out i use those things so that's what a mentor does a mentor will pull out the best in you so I hope this was um, helpful and, and I hope I explained it well, you know, why it's important to have a mentor. Uh, like I said before, I like to compartmentalize things. I like to put people in place um, that are able to speak to those things. So, um, you know, I tell everybody, you know, people say, you know, even when it goes back to like therapists, if people will say, do I need a therapist? I have a best friend I talk to. I talk to my mom. I talk to my pastor. I talk to, you need a person that's specialized, equipped, to deal with and to help you. It's okay to have a person to listen to you, but when you're really trying to dig and you're trying to get to the root of the matter, you need somebody that is skilled in that area. Um, that is, uh, you know, that's able to really help you. I think so, so, so often we miss out on a lot of, um, really great support and we really miss out on a lot of things because we're using people for the wrong things. And so, you know, 
it's just it's, it's you just need to make sure that you are linking and you are you're with a person that's really going to support you on that journey and so going back to what i said when it comes to the mentors you know the great thing about a mentor is a person that you vet out and so when i vetted all of my mentors it would it was people that i watched closely um i watched you know their walk i watched their talk i watched um you know the way they moved i watched their life you know what they were successful at you know even when it um when it as it pertains to my current mentor that i recently recently um, had a conversation with and we recently and you know uh, started the mentorship relationship um, I vetted her out as well you know I, I looked up you know her publications I was able to read a lot of publications that she had written um, I looked at her status on at her campus that she's currently at um, the organization she was involved in um, and so this was a person I was like oh she's definitely a person that I think can be of support and it's weird because um, I actually found her on social media like I'm in, involved in this uh, professional women's uh, organization uh, group on like social media and I joined it and I actually was invited by my mentor she invited me to this group another mentor and then I actually connected with this mentor on there and so when I reached out and I told her you know my you know what I was looking for when I when I reached out to her I sent her a message right I sent her a message directly in her messenger and I sent it to her and I said you know, hey, my name is Nikita Jackson. And I kind of explained to her, gave her a nutshell of who I was. And, you know, I had looked her up. I said, I see you are doing a lot of amazing things. I, I, I put some pointers on some things that I thought that she was doing that was great. And I was like, I think you will be really great. And I would want to know if you want to be, if you are willing to be my mentor. And I just kind of explained to her what I was looking for in a mentor. And, you know, at first I was like, she's not going to reach out because I know she's a busy woman. She has her hands in a lot of things. And she does you know, amazing things at her university. And so, uh, she wrote me back like a week later and I was really surprised. She wrote me back and she was like, sure, you know, let's have a conversation. She gave me her number and our first conversation, we were on the phone for, I think three hours. So it was amazing connection. And, you know, um, I'm excited, um, you know, where this relationship with go will go. Um, I think she's really going to support me on my journey. Um, she's very, I mean, even after the call, she started sending me articles and, you know, giving me ideas for publications and I mean it's just amazing so you know it's great to have a mentor it's great to have a mentor especially when you feel like you need just a little bit more guidance in in your career you know even as a wife or you know or a mother or whatever you know sometimes it's just good to have that 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 um that person you know that you can go to that can support you you know I've had some people to say it's hard like being a single mom you know it's amazing mothers out here that single mom that's killing it that's doing a great job and you know not saying that you know people want to be so fixated on that but it's like you have you have people that that's willing to like help you you have um people that's wives and they're like you know i'm struggling being a wife like what do i need to do there's amazing women out here that's that's in the role of a wife that, that you can link up with that can support you you know um you know whatever the case may be you can have a mentor for anything so i brought to you you know my stance in regards to like professional development but you can have a mentor for whatever you want a mentor for and i think it's just important and that you find that person and you vet that person and you connect with that person and um, you you know once you you know create that relationship the sky is the limit but just know that person is going to hold you accountable that person is going to push you that person is going to support you and just going to push you to your best self all right so I hope this um, topic was interesting for you I hope you were able to take something away from it um, and once again I hope you understand you know my stance on mentors and why they matter and I encourage anyone all over the world to get a mentor because mentors matters all right all right so that's my tidbit and always remember self-care is the best care and without self-care we go nowhere have a great day <laughs>